Libya economy and people all their income was tied to oil. After the revolution, even though the instability, the change of governments from year to year, people started to have like a hope and started thinking out of the box. Oil is temporary, so we have to think of alternative. Foreigners who are outside thinking of Libya, once they come here, it's different. They will change their opinion. Entrepreneurs will think of Musrata to invest, to get the right people with the right mindset. Speaking about Musrat as the uh, third biggest city in Libya and it's attractive for all the people in Libya logistically to invest in and to use a seaport. The current seaport was built in 1978 with 53% of container traffic in Libya and there is a vision of expansion recently for the transit shipments that goes to Africa. Today we don't have any railways. The only way of shipping goods locally inside the country is through trucks. So there will be opportunities to expand this sector, to have railways here and to expand the airlines. The Triple International Airport was destroyed through the revolution. There are some construction companies working on renewing the whole airport. The location of Libya can make more an opportunity for trans shipment to and from Europe to Africa, for example, to use Libya as a hub. Libya has shifted from a consumer country to a manufactured country that can hold most of its needs and manufactured locally. Even though with all of these instabilities and the change of governments, people are working and there's a revolution in industries. We as private sector and business people, we diversify our business in manufacturing. For example, once we started our company, in 2017 in our factory to produce food here and locally. We started with milk, juice and cheese. We have a short-term vision to open other nat natural products like ice cream. Today we have more than 700 employees inside our food industry and we're thinking of expanding and getting up to 1,300 by the coming year. Today, if you talk about Libya in general, we have only one ice cream factory in the whole country, which is not going to fulfill even 30 or 40 percent of the consumption. We have some sectors that we have nothing produced locally. I think the opportunity to invest inside the country is still really high. I think sectors that are going to have the highest opportunities to invest in even for foreign companies to come here and be in technology in general. The demand of the market is on technology. Shopping is all based on cash. It's a cash economy. So I think there's an opportunity where people can find a better solution, pay instead of carrying cash. We established a payment solution company called Abur. The company is a joint venture with Jumuria Bank. We create plastic money for account holders and we have other projects to change all the payments to be digitalized through their website. So the opportunity for big data is coming. People are tired of war and instability. Most of foreign once we talk to them about Libya right now, they would think Libya is a war zone not safe but this is the opposite for anybody that comes and stay here for even a day or two we will see the difference it's not Libya like you see in the news <music> Libya is thirsty for any project any investment can succeed